So how many of these have you done around um, Brooklyn? Eight in Brooklyn or nine and then I've done a few in Manhattan. Two were removed by a gallery called Chapter New York because I tagged them on Instagram and they were a little bit, you know, bossy. So they, they removed my my beautiful did, ceramic pieces. Did they give a good reason? No, they, they even, they didn't talk to me. They just, I know that it's them. I'm 100% sure because I tagged them. They re-tagged me, then they realized it was a street art piece and then they deleted the tag. And then I realized they broke the one outside their gallery and then the one in the neighborhood was suddenly removed. I know it's them, I'm 100% sure. I even, I, I don't know, you know when you feel things, you, you don't have a proof, but you know it. That's it. But it's all right, I mean, that's uh, what street art is. Street art is a present, it's a gift. Some people take care of it. Some people don't see it as a gift, they see it as a, a threat. Um, so for me, you know, I do what I can. You see, this takes care and passion, love. You have to know where and what you're doing, you know, and all that. Anyway. And so we've found this corner. This is the corner of... Yeah, I'm not sure. Banker Street. And this uh, Roll Avenue. Okay. So we're going to see if it welcomes us. Let's see, because you know, uh, when, uh, for example, I do near, near the studio, I always check them out the day after. If someone breaks them, I come and fix them. If someone writes on them, I, I also fix them. And if someone removes it, I sometimes re-put it, but I don't like making wood, so it's all right. You know, sometimes I just let it be. Spam. The strategy changes from time to time. When I choose a wool, I, I also choose the, the vibe, you know, it's not just throwing something on the wall. Okay, now it looks like it because it's a bit dirty, but when I clean it, it'll be looking fantastic. And to be honest, you know, like I'm, what pushes me to keep going with this is the, the response of the local people. They all like it. Even old people, they go like, oh, this is so beautiful. So. That's what pushes me, otherwise I, if people would hate it, I wouldn't do it, right? So, I mean, this is not just throwing a tag on the wall. It's, uh, it's something like I, I take care of. This will change a little bit the building in terms of... It's a little intervention to beautify the brick wall, you know? To make it special, to make it special. Because that's what you do, no? To make it special. It just looks so fun, like and easy as well. If I think if I just roll around with some cement and some tiles uh -huh. in my bag, uh -huh. like, I can just go out and create something. It looks very yeah, and playful it's... and fun and definitely. And it's like hanging out with yourself, especially I spend a lot of time on my own, you know. And I hang out like that. There's something there. How many tiles do you have around the world on different walls? I don't know, but in London only around hundred. <laughs> so you have to find them by the way. London only hundreds, then I have like five in Marrakesh, and I I have a few in Georgia, a few in Armenia. Mate, I bet I'm going to see one of your things as soon as I land, now that I know what to look out for. Yes, I'm sure. I actually haven't done Brixton. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dedicate a few to you. I, I come there and rock it. Do Cold Arbor Lane and East Lake Road. Yeah. Looks like I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it with poetry. I'm fixing it with poetry. As people have to be fixed also with a bit of poetry. You know? so this is the last part. Cleaning. And this is the best part, you say? It's the best part, the easiest part, also the, safe, the safest because of the cleaning approach. So 
satisfying how? It's like, you know, it comes out, finally. If you go a little f further away, then you'll see how it kind of creates some kind of presence now that it's cleaning, it's cleaned.